Greetings, true believers. It's Joe Pals Spider Man. Good morning, Cadre. It's been a little bit since I've done one of these videos, so I uh, thought I'd grab a, another soap and let's go to it. Uh, I'm going to use Southern Witchcraft's uh, Necromantic again. Uh, really good scent. It's uh, florally, but kind of dark florally. Um, I didn't look up the notes. I've already done a video on this uh, if you look back, but I, I do enjoy the scent. Um, also, in anticipation of receiving my TSC Anniversary Brush, uh, made by Eric Sorrentino, which I'm assuming I will probably get today, um, I'll be using my uh, TSC Member Brush today. This is my uh, Luca Brazzi shape, um, but I call it the Count Luca Brazzi because of the color that I got. And I will be using a new razor to me. So I just wanted to get this uh, loaded up. I'm gonna start lathering. Mm, it's really strong. The scent, the strength of scent. I can never say that right the first time. I always say scent first. The strength of scent is really strong. Um, probably at least a four. It's honestly one of those scents where it, if I had a sample and tried it, I probably wouldn't like it enough to buy it. But being that I have the whole tub, uh, I'm definitely going to use it, and I like it. So I guess I'm glad I just went in and got the full tub. Because I really do like it. It's just... Uh... I'm not really, not really in my wheelhouse being kind of kind of florally, but the darkness is what I like to it. It's got a, it's got a wine, a wine and rose uh, hint to it. Anyways, I picked up a uh, Schick Type O clone, so not actually a Schick razor, but a clone of that razor. Uh, second hand, this is uh, sold by e Barbershop. Dot com and lots of injector fans have used these and liked them and it's been forever since I've used an injector probably the last one I used was my uh, uh, where is it my uh, floating head uh, persona so this guy, so the, this one, the, the head is on a spring. So kind of like a uh, spring-loaded modern Gillette where the head curves with your skin. The spring-loaded head on that keeps it uh, away from your skin and keeps the same, keep basically keeps the same amount of pressure. So you can keep pressing in, uh, but the spring's gonna push it back so you don't ever put too much pressure in your skin. And uh, I really enjoy that one. But injectors in general are just really good razors. Um, the, the geometry of the head uh, makes them Fairly mild for the most part. There's a few different uh, versions out there that are a bit more aggressive than others. I think the type, uh, like the type E and the type G, are maybe a little bit more aggressive than uh, some of the later models. But they're just, they're just very intuitive. Um, so if you're new to wet shaving. Um, you know, there's definitely a learning curve to using a, a double-edged razor. Uh, you gotta learn how to hold it, 
and uh, make sure that you're getting your angles right. Um, these injectors really, um, there's not much to it. They're, I've always said that it's like cheating. It's like, it's wet shaving, but it's like cheating just because they're so easy. It's very mindless. You don't have to think about it. It's very intuitive. So you almost can't use the wrong angle. So, if you are new to wet shaving, I highly recommend getting at least one injector and trying it. Uh, I know there's some people out there that that's all they use is injectors because they like them so much. So I think I put in a, uh, where's my thing? Uh, so yeah, I used a, a Schick blade this morning. Um, so this was brand new. It still had the uh, dummy blade in it. So when uh, Schicks were shipped new, they had a blade in it because the idea is when you load it, um, the new blade replaces the old blade. And it's a little bit harder on the razor if you don't have a blade in there to begin with, you can kind of scrape up the in, inside and dig at the metal um, if you're not replacing blade for blade. So they came with these dummy blades in them to prevent that from happening. Um, the injectors, you do have to use obviously special, special blades um, I didn't show it, but there's a key right here, <clears throat> and then there's a slot. So you put the key inside the slot, which opens up the razor a little bit, pushes this open, and then you use this slide, and just it pushes the blade forward. So then you just push the blade into the razor. Uh, this one was a little bit, um, I don't know what, it wasn't sticky, but... It was a little bit tough getting the blade in, or getting the key in, actually. Tougher than some of the other ones, so I don't know. Uh, being a clone, if it was built a little bit differently or what. Mm. It's almost a little intoxicating scent. It's really, I'm just, I keep, I'm drawn to it which is weird. But very, very strong. The one thing I like about it, just the, scent, the strength of scent. Oh, I can never say that. Really, so, so easy. So I know a lot of people have been talking about this razor over the years and saying that of the injectors, this was actually one of their favorites. It was the Type O and the clone of it because they no longer make the Type O think. And uh, just a lot of people like it and always want to try it. So someone on the BST for a decent price picked it up and it's really good. Um, I'm enjoying this. This would, uh, <clears throat> this would be a really good alternative to a travel razor. If you were looking for something uh, to get past TSA, um, this should not be a problem with TSA. I mean, 
I did my I did a travel video all on that sort of thing. So uh, if you if you want to know more about traveling with your gear, check that one out. But basically, um, it, this one's perfectly within the rules to take on your um, carry on. Uh, obviously, you can take whatever you want in your checked luggage, but your carry on there's some restrictions, and that would be perfectly acceptable. However. TSA sometimes makes their own rules, and um, <clears throat> they'll sometimes have a problem with something just because they don't understand the rules. And I've heard of instances where people had to, con uh, where TSA confiscated the razors uh, and stuff like that. So you wouldn't want that to happen, obviously, but that one... You, you can't remove the blade. Um, so that's that's the big thing, is not having like a DE <clears throat> or a single edge razor where you can remove the blade, because the blade is the issue. And you can't remove that blade without the key and without pushing another blade in it. So as long as you're not taking a, uh, you couldn't take this. That would be technically against the rules for TSA, but you can take the razor, so. Just an, another good travel razor, um, really good. Really good close shave. And. Little Witch Hazel finish. And we are going through samples of Saponificio uh, Veracino aftershaves. So. I did not look up any scent notes, so I have no idea what these are supposed to smell like. Uh, but this is Dolomiti. So I found that for the most part, these are all just very cologne scents. And going in blind on scents is something I really don't totally enjoy doing because I don't really know what I'm smelling. It's easier to pick out scents when I've got them in front of me. This one has a smokiness to it. I really need to look these up. one. I don't know. We'll see what the dry down is, see if it changes. Um, I like to uh, get it on my arms because throughout the day I'll just kind of smell my arm and I can kind of see how the uh, how the scent is changing and drying down and see how what the longevity is um, a little bit easier than just you can just rub your face and smell but it's a little bit easier just to get it off your skin like that so that's what I usually do um, I don't know we'll check it out and uh, I'll try to look up the uh, scent notes uh, I've got three left to go through I've got Tundra Arctica Stella Alpina and Mena de, de Sicilia Left, I've what I've tried so far is Dolomiti, Apuntia, Felce, Aromatica, and Cosmo. Um, probably of all of them that I've tried so far, the only one that I really like is the Felce uh, Aromatica, which is the aromatic fern. Um, Cosmo and Apuntia were okay, but they're just they're just cologne and kind of nondescript to me. Um, but uh, we're gonna keep going through those, and I also have. Um, I don't have a sample because I have a full bottle of this one, the Mirto di Sardegna. Sardegna. Um, so I've got a full bottle of this, so I don't have the sample. Uh, I gave the sample to somebody else. Um, so I've got this one to use also. I do enjoy the aftershaves. They feel really good. Um, uh, just the scents, they're not really doing much for me. But uh, that's the shave for today. Join me on the Shaving Cadre. Um, we'll be... Uh, 
Looking forward to getting my anniversary brush, posting pictures of that. Uh, it's supposed to come with some other stuff. They're all surprises, so really looking forward to seeing what the guys put together for the anniversary package. Uh, so we will be getting pictures of that sort of stuff uh, soon. I uh, hope everybody holds off on posting pictures of that until everybody gets their stuff so that like nobody's surprise is spoiled when they open up their package and uh, see what's in there. Uh, but uh, we'll see you guys on the forums. I'm Spider. Later.